I use my quest a lot for PC VR. I like to play wired because if I'm playing a PvP game, then the latency is not as bad. But I've had a lot of issues with the link just not working whenever I plug it into my headset and then going. Oftentimes this seems to be random. It'll happen in the middle of a play session. There are a lot of issues that cause cabled link to just be inferior to a lot of wireless ones until I got this fix from a Reddit thread. So a game dev studio called Melcher Studios, they made Hockey VR and apparently Sharknado VR, Eye of the Storm, Arcade Edition. So there you go. But they're a developer, so they have to go in and out of the headset a lot. They showed off this bat file. So the way that they get around the issues with uh, MetaQuest Link, wired they stop ovr service and then they restart ovr service um and this has fixed literally all of my problems i'm going to show you how to use it now so what i typically do with the batch file this is the batch file um the this section is going to hide the output this is going to stop the ovr service this section here is meant to wait until it is stopped to then restart the ovr service um sometimes the it never ends up stopping you have to kill the oculus client and then it'll come back, but this is just a quicker way to do it. So you're going to right click this. I keep it on my desktop because I use it so often. I run as administrator, hit yes. It will run. Uh, so that time it worked perfectly. It stopped the OVR service and then it'll check, hey, oh, it is stopped and now it is restarting it. Um, if that doesn't happen, that means it got stuck here. What you're gonna do is kill off that command prop window. You can come in here, go to task manager, and what I always do is, is I come in, I'll grab my Oculus client and in task. So then my meta Oculus client is gone and then I click Oculus client again and it'll open up perfectly fine. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or if you have ways of making this process better, um, please, please absolutely let me know. Um, I think that this script can be improved a lot, uh, but I just am leaving it as is because it's working for me right now. One thing I forgot to add in this video and I wanted to add now is that batch files can, they, they make changes to your computer, especially when you're running them as administrator. Don't just run a batch file from a random person online. Either do research into it, put it through an LLM like ChatGPT or Gemini and just say like, hey, like what's this gonna do for my computer? This guy says to run an administrator, what do I do? Be safe with this kind of thing. So if you see batch files out in the wild and people are like, you should run them, Please double check those first because they can really mess up your computer if they are malicious or sometimes even just poorly coded.